What's good, Spartans? Happy Monday, April 15th. Again, last week I explained that I'm out of the building today, tomorrow on Wednesday. Here's what you are working on while I'm gone. Uh, we got a little bit of information to review regarding instincts and culture. And again, we're looking at this from a, from a, a perspective of trying to figure out what determines our behavior as an individual and as a society. Is our behavior determined by our instincts or is it determined by our culture? When I'm done reviewing that with you, you have the video and video guide to complete on the three identical strangers. Again, triplets separated at birth, raised in completely different environments, and then they find each other when they're in young adulthood. When you're done with the video and video guide on Wednesday, and it should be turned in on Wednesday by the end of the hour, uh, you have the chapter three reading guide, the next section of the chapter three reading guide, questions number seven through 16 to complete for Thursday when I'll be back and we can pick up with cultural norms. So let's get down to it. We have instincts and we have culture. You may have heard it as nature versus nurture. What is it that determines our behavior? Our instincts are what we inherit from our parents. Some of you look like your parents. Some of you have your parents' hot temper. Some of your parents have your, some of, some of you have your parents' sailor's mouth and just swear all the time. Some of you are shy and you get that from your parents. Your instincts. Is it what you are born with? Is it what you have in your brain, in your body at the time you come out of the womb? Is that what determines your behavior? Because what you are born with, your genetically inherited patterns of behavior that you get from your parents, more or less, are going to have an influence on your reflexes and drives. Your response to a stimuli, think, if someone were to punch you in the face, are you punching back or are you running away? Because my guess is, dependent on what that, which reflex you have, you may have gotten that from your parents. Your drive. We all have a drive to minimize discomfort. No one likes being hot. No one likes being cold. No one likes being hungry. No one likes being thirsty. That's kind of our wiring. Think of the houses that you guys built. We all need a place to live. We have a drive. We know that we need shelter. But we saw some differences in our houses on Friday. Some of you are very posh, luxurious homes. Some of you want to live in an isolated shack out in the middle of nowhere. And some of you are going to be down to live a, a life of uh, nomadic change. And you're, you're, you're down with being in an RV and traveling the world. Is that instinctual or is that cultural? Now, here's the thing. And it's why, it's, it's why psychologists, medical professionals, um, uh, sociologists always term it nature- versus nurture. We have our instinctual responses, our drives, our wiring, but then we're subjected to culture, the nurture. I would imagine most of you at some point in time were explained not to lie or not to swear or not to run in the hallway. You may have a burst of energy and you want you need to get it out of your system, but we know that we're not supposed to run down the hallway. Our culture, more or less, again, going back to Friday, defines what the expected behavior is. It tells you what you are supposed to do and how you are supposed to act. And it justifies the expected behavior. Here is why you are to do X, Y, and Z. It tells you what to do and here's the reason why. So when we come back to behavior, again, our culture is more or less meant to control or minimize our impulses, whether they be a reflex or a drive. You think about it at our very core, at our essence, we are animals. It's what we are. And there, I mean, if we were to look at the animal world, it is brutal, but we can't just walk up and down the street taking what we want, killing anything that threatens us. We can't do it. Society won't work. It won't be consistent, won't be predictable, and it certainly won't be efficient. So again, is it instincts or is it culture that controls our behavior, that influences our behavior, both as individuals as well as a society? Or potentially, is it both? Is it nature and nurture? Is it our instincts and our culture? That's what we got to look at. The documentary, again, Three Perfect Strangers, you should be able to find the uh, document to answer and the questions to watch. 
Uh, I've double checked this. Uh, the video is shared um, with everyone. My guess is, so you don't have to constantly deal with buffering. You may want to download it onto your device or your phone or your Chromebook. Um, so you can have a second screen and then answer the questions on whatever secondary device that you have. Uh, but it's four relatively summative questions. I, I, I don't recall them going uh, in any sort of specific order, but it's more of a reflective set of questions that you need to respond to. Uh, and then most importantly, the last question, what do you think is a greater influence on behavior, human behavior? Is it our nature, what we're born with, or our nurture, the environment in which we were born and raised? So that is the task for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. And again, when you are finished with this, you should be done with it by Wednesday. You have the next section of chapter three to read numbers seven through 16, and we'll pick up with norms. Uh, my guess is when I'm back on Thursday, before we jump into norms, cultural norms, we'll do a quick review of instincts um, and culture, nature versus nurture, uh, and make sure we're on the same page there. So hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoyed the nice weekend. I think the weather is supposed to be nice this past weekend uh, as I'm filming this on Thursday. And make sure you're listening to Mr. Vyth while I'm gone. I'll see you guys on Thursday.